The problem of security in this country, and again, I'm going to be brutally frank, is us politicians. And I'm scared where the future of this country is going. Because we've got some of the finest security operatives in this country. But politicians over the years, and this is not an MPP problem. It is not an NDC problem. It is across the aisle. All parties. We've done this. It may be worse in one than the other, but we are all guilty of it. And there's no small scene or big scene. The politicization of our security apparatus is what the problem is. Let me ask you a question. Do you think Kenel Punamani, that's the head of presidential security, the Kenel who led, Joseph Punamani, who led the, the soldiers onto the floor of parliament, you think that he, on his own, would have just walked into parliament? You think he, on his own, would have just entered the floor of parliament with armed soldiers? He's a trained soldier. He's a colonel of the Ghana Armed Forces. He won't do it. It is simply because some politician somewhere gave him an order. And that is why, even though we want to do a, an investigation into it, we may not really go far with it. We would do the shadow boxing, but the real substance of the issue is that that officer did not command his men in there on his own accord. If he did, it would be, a, it would be akin to treason. Because getting into the floor of parliament with armed soldiers is akin to overturning parliament. You understand me? But he did it on the orders of somebody. Look, these officers again who went there, they did that, we are here being told, on the orders of Azugu. Azugu, yes. Did Azugu check it up with the chain of command? If he didn't, is anybody going to reprimand him? Anybody, and in this case, political based your, authority. Based on your previous experience, please draw your uh, Please, yeah, it won't happen. <laughs> it won't happen. It won't happen. And you see, that's the point. And you see, when, when you embolden people, when Azugu misbehaved as the officer on the ground in Ayaso West Wagon, because it was Sam George and his MPP in power, oh, it's, uh, forget about it. Tomorrow, when the NDC comes to power, then you would also you have a certain expectation of the NDC base that, ah, but they did it to you. So also go and do it to Collins. No, no, don't come, don't come to ah, me. <laughs> you get it. And then, and so you realize that we are getting into an arena where it is becoming normalized for us as politicians to use the might of national security to threaten and, and, and that we are supposed to be protecting the citizenry. But now, what we rather want to do is put the fear of man. Now you, Mamavi, as a journalist, after yeah. you see what they did to Zoe, yeah. and you, you got more body than Zoe. <laughs> so when they are coming for you to be 12, the next time you are going to talk or say anything, there is something at the back of your mind. That is ringing in your head. This is not acceptable in a democracy. So how do we end this? Politicians, we need to call a spade a spade. We need to come to that place and say, look, enough of this. If, I, if I'm not happy with Collins and I'm in government, I shouldn't use the mind of states to show him where power lies. 